now I'm sure you know who I am. You know what I'm capable of. I am beginning to. I have to say the first Rambo was terrific. And Sly was never, never better. And again, it was rooted in a reality, do you know what I mean? Of a highly trained soldier who gave his all for his country in Vietnam and comes back and when that button is pressed, he goes back into that mode. Really, really terrific. I think this this is a great series. I think Born Identity is a great series. I think there's been uh, a few of them that have come out that's, that really like, you know, put you in the emotional state as well as the action state, you know, that to fuel it and push it forward. I'll be honest, I'm I'm typically more of a like Jane Austen fan. I love those period dramas, and so I love these movies and that there's a, a really compelling personal relationship at the center of it. But a lot of times Olivia will make a reference and be like, okay, this is kind of an homage to Die Hard. And I'm like, right, die, die Hard? Die Hard. Okay, I'm going to go see that. I'll be right back. And I'll like go do my homework and come back. I haven't seen enough action movies. And I like a lot of 70s movies. So I'd probably go back to, you know, the, the one with the car chase one um, in San Francisco. And uh, what's, it called, what's it called? Chase? And, you know, movies like that. I, I, I don't know. I mean, anything with Al Pacino and De Niro from the 70s, I'd probably put high on the, on the list.